Our winners can forget about work. They'll be waited on 24-7 here at the Manor by their very own butler and chef. And where millionaires Jensen Button and Michael Schumacher lead, our winning family follow. An all-action day blasting around Brands Hatch in a top racing car. Then from the world of speed to the world of sleeping beauty. VIP tickets to the English National Ballet at the London Coliseum. A touch of class to end the week, Millionaire Manor style. Uh, yes, another high-octane week awaits our millionaire-winning family, but who will be burning rubber at Brands Hatch? The current residents, the Withies, of the Porters or the Basses? One of our would-be racing drivers will be forced off the track in the round we'd like to call Family Values. Now, this round will test how much our families know about valuable items and also give them a chance to nosy around the matter. Our teams have already chosen their rooms. Here they are on our floor plan. Uh, the Basses chose the forecourt of the manor, and the Porters chose the games room, the Withies chose the sitting room. The aim of the game is to choose the item with the highest value, and so score maximum points. Right, you all know where you're going. Remember, you're looking for the most expensive item of the three. Off you all go. <laughs> OK, well, Joanna and Pat are on their way to the Manor Forecourt. There they'll find three amazing sports cars, and they're after most valuable, worth a draw-dropping £600,000. OK, Joanna and Pat, outside you will find three amazing sports cars. You've got one minute to work out which is the most expensive. Harvey, please open the door. Your time starts now. That's a bit right. chilly, so move oh, swiftly. Let's start with Supercar A, the nice big red beast you can see. It's a Ferrari. Uh, does it get your, uh, your motoring skills churning around, Pat? <laughs> I've never driven anything worth more than £500. <laughs> <laughs> it might be worth a bit more than 500 I'll give you that as a clue. This is very, very... Do you like the car, Joanna? Yes, it's very, very nice. It's a nice car. Well, let's move on to B. Now, it's the best of British 2005 Black Aston Martin. It's also new. Oh my God. What do you reckon, Pat? Not a clue. You've got Not 30 seconds left. Not no a clue. Idea about cars. Not idea. <laughs> clue. Move on to C then. I can tell you this is also British. It's a classic red Jaguar. What do you reckon? How much do you think it might be worth, Pat? Oh. I don't know. 100,000? 100,000? You've got 10 seconds to make your decision. It's a tough decision for people who don't know about cars. Aston Martin, Ferrari, or classic. Aston Martin. You're going to go for yeah. What do you reckon? I haven't got a clue. Your go time is up, Pat. You haven't got a clue, but we need a clue. You're going for B. Yes. Can you please get the hands off the bonnet? I polished that all so, morning. Sorry, sorry, sorry. How naughty of you. Why have you gone, Pat, for that black <laughs> Aston Martin? Because it was in the middle. <laughs> that seems like a, a foolproof scientific plan you've got there. Uh, you've gone for B. We'll find out if you're right. Please make your way back uh, to the main hall. Not so the Basses think that car B is the most expensive car. We'll find out very shortly whether they know their motors or not. You probably had the hardest of the lot because obviously you know nothing about cars. Nothing, nothing. at all. I can tell you, Pat, that one of those cars was worth £600,000. See. You've only ever spent £500 in a car. What was it, by the way? Land Rover. A Land Rover. OK, you turned down A and C and went for B. Let's talk about A and C first. <laughs> now, A, that we do, I'm afraid, Pat. Well, that's a Ferrari Enzo. It was developed in conjunction with Michael Schumacher. Do you know who he was, Pat? I've he's heard just, of him. He's still yes, alive, yeah, I think. Yes, yeah, Jolly good news. It does 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds. Wow. How fast do you reckon it can go top speed, Joanna? 150. 217 miles. <laughs> this is per hour. sounding more and more expensive uh, as we One of its famous on. owners included JK <laughs> of Jamiroquai. Uh, oh. It's one of only 399 in the it's world. It's very expensive. It's isn't it? very expensive. That was the most mm. expensive car worth £600,000. So you turned down <laughs> we did. the Ferrari. <laughs> A supercar C you also turned down, it's a vintage Jaguar E-Type. It was based on the 1950s Le Mans winning D-Type car. Yes, yes. Top speed of 150 miles per hour. Yes. It was built in 1970, the last year the Series 2 was made. But even though it's 35 years old, they made a lot of them. So it wasn't, of course, worth that much money. It was the cheapest item oh, of £22,000. <laughs> so thank God you avoided that one. You went for supercar, being what a supercar it was car. too. Lovely it's a lovely car. Lovely it's an car. I wish I'd give it to you. It was an Aston Martin Vanquish S. Nord 16 4.8 oh, seconds, a top no speed of no 201. Good. No good. <laughs> You're hard to please, you are, Pat. Anyway, uh, it's a, an amazing car. It's Aston Martin's flagship car, worth a mere £190,000. But to you, that was a mid-price item. Worth a lot. So luckily, two points. <laughs> Thank you. So well done. <laughs>